Welcome to the Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. What are we doing today? Today we're going to be sharing with you 10 ways that we are frugal. All right, so this video has been done by multiple people, but I think it was a couple of months ago when uh, Dawn from Sensible Living with Money Mom did this video that we decided that we were going to do one as well. And it's just been in our list of videos to do for a little while, but yep. uh, we will be sure to link uh, Dawn from Sensible Living with Money Mom. We'll link her original video in the description. Okay, so uh, let's get started. We're gonna do this kind of quick, maybe, because we never do things as quick as we said we were. Yep. One, we save money by not going to the salon regularly. Now, obviously- I don't need to. He doesn't need to because he just uses a razor and shaves his head. Yep. Um, if he wasn't, he he was bald and he would just be getting this part right here cut and they would still be charging him a full haircut price. So he finally said, that's it. I'm mm -hmm. not going to do that anymore. Yep. Uh, for me, I get my hair cut about mm, maybe once a year. It's somewhere between the six month mark and the year mark that I get my hair cut. And I usually go from about this length back up to my shoulder, shoulders and then let it go back to about this length. So it probably won't be long until I get my hair cut again, but this is one way that I do it. Um, I do not get my hair dyed. In fact, I've never had my hair dyed ever. Um, and I rarely, if ever, go and get manis, manis and petties. In fact, it's been probably seven or eight years since I had one. There is nothing wrong with it if you do that, but for me, it's just not something that I'm overly concerned with. I just clip my nails and keep them short, pretty much. And um, uh, uh, if I ever got to the part point that I actually felt uncomfortable with the color of my hair, maybe I would get my hair dyed. But I've even gone to salons and asked them did they think that I should get my hair dyed. And the beauticians said, not with your hair color because you have a lot of multicolors in your hair. And if you do get your hair dyed, you'll lose that, um, the varying colors and it will be white one solid color. So it'd be really obvious if you had gray hair. Uh, I do have gray hair, it's just not as obvious because there's a lot of multicolors going on in there. So if a beautician is telling me, don't do it, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do it right now, at least not yet. Anyway, so that's one way that we save is by just not going to the salon regularly. All right, number two, we live a month in advance, which means that the money we make in January won't be used until February. Uh, so we know exactly what we're gonna have as far as our budget goes, uh, being an hourly worker, uh, you, sometimes you don't know exactly how much you're going to have. So it's nice working, being a month in advance, knowing that I get paid a couple of times this month. I know exactly what's going to be in there for February, same way February for March. Uh, so that we know exactly how our budget's going to, how our budget's going to turn out, uh, before we get to the month. Yeah. And, uh, we started that in 2013 Yep. and we have stayed one month in advance ever yep. since. So that's yep. 10 years. All right. And to piggyback off of that, we also save money every month. It is important to us that we always put money into other savings, um, not accounts, but line items in our budget. We put money in either sinking funds or emergency funds, things like that, so that we're always saving and preparing for the future. We also make sure that we have insurance policies for anything that may need that for like health cars stuff like that and we also contribute to retirement funds every month that's right so. all right number four we don't go out and just look at stores now that's not a bad thing to do unless you don't have a lot of willpower uh we don't go around window shopping a lot um and so we don't just go out and because usually if you go out and sometimes if you go out and you start looking in windows you say oh i don't think i really need that so you go in and buy something you don't really need uh, so we just choose not to do that and mm -hmm. it helps us to uh, save within our budget uh -huh. and, um, you know. Yeah, um, now it does help me that that I don't have a car to drive, you know, so when Joel's at work, where am I going? But anyway, 
Uh, so when he's off, usually we have to spend that day running errands, buying groceries and stuff like that. So it, we just, we don't really have a lot of time to go looking around in stores that we don't have a plan for. So we basically do that for grocery shopping or if we do have to go to another store, we go in with intention and we rarely just look to look. Yeah. So it does save us money because we're not convincing ourselves that we need to buy something that we didn't even know that we needed because we saw something on sale or something like that. All right, and number five is we save up and buy new to us cars in cash. Uh, the important part there is we save up so that we don't have to use any debt to buy a new car, whether it's new, new or new used is new to us. But I mean, we haven't bought a new car in probably 15 years. Either way, it, whether it's new or new to us, uh, because it's still used, but it's still new to us, we don't go into debt to, to get it. We save up and pay cash. Yep. All right, number six, we use survey websites and rebate apps to lighten expenses during the holidays. Now we did this past year, we did a video on it, uh, and uh, we say we, we garnered somewhere around 475-ish dollars uh, in um, uh, gift cards, cash, that was actually put into our bank account and like Amazon uh, gift cards and things like that, uh, that we did use for Christmas, use for some other things that we really wanted to buy. Uh, but we, uh, we use those, we use those survey apps and uh, survey websites and we read apps to, um, to help, um, to help bolster our, our spending a little bit. That's right. Uh, the rebate apps are really simple. All you gotta do is scan your stuff when you get home. Uh, the survey sites, I usually do those like maybe when we have some downtime and we're watching TV or something like that. And I usually pick uh, surveys that are really small, like really short, so they don't take up much time of my life, but it, it still accumulates over time. And so, like you said, the total amount that we had, and we, like you said, we used it on some of the Christmas presents. We also, um, our 20 year old, 25 year old knives joel broke one of them yep. right after christmas cutting and so turkey. cutting the turkey um and so uh we bought new for us uh knives off amazon using some of those gift cards so they came in in really handy and it really does help us save some money by just a few minutes of my time yep. yeah all right, uh, we research before we buy things to make sure that we're making good purchases, like the knives that I just mentioned. We looked and we read um, all about them. We also read some reviews, made sure that the rating overall was pretty high and we didn't see anything in the reviews that made us go, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, we, uh, for us, buying quality is important uh, as a frugal, couple we want to make sure that what we're buying is going to be good quality and will last a long time so we do research to make sure that we're buying something that's worth it to us that's right all right number eight we buy annual passes to the local theme parks for christmas and then we're able to go without spending money throughout the year um so that's what we do we we decided that if we're going to go more than two or three times uh, in the year it's worth it for us to get the <coughs> annual passes uh mm -hmm. if you think about it if you go to disney three times you can buy an annual pass, but if you're out of state, you can't. We but, live uh, in Orlando, so we're right We live in Orlando, so uh, we can do that. But if we go three times, and it, uh, after that, it pretty much has paid for itself. Uh, and if you've seen any, any of our stuff on the other channel, if you haven't seen our um, our theme park stuff, go to our other channel, Adventures on the Long Run, and mm -hmm. check that out as well. But that's where we put all of that. And um, it um, we can go pretty much any time we want, uh, and except, you know, we have some blackout days for our Disney passes, but other than that, we can go pretty much any time we want, and uh, it doesn't cost us any money to get into the parks. That's right. Um, and I will say, like, if you aren't close to Orlando, but you live somewhere that maybe has a zoo yep. or something like that, museums, things like that, there may be some kind of uh, annual passes yep. that you can buy that would be cheaper than paying every time you went. Um, right. So just a tip there 
All right, and to kind of piggyback off of that, we're going to say we credit card hack to save money on travel expenses. Now, before you, you know, turn me, turn us off, you know, and please note that we know that credit cards should not be used just like emergency funds or anything like that. But if you can use a credit card and pay it off in the same month that you're uh, billed so that you're paying zero interest on it and you have, you know, that ability, then there's nothing wrong with it. And so for us, most of the expenses that we charge to the credit card is actually through Joel's job and he's reimbursed for it. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's, it's like he uses his credit card, gets the rewards off of it, but he's not really paying for it because he gets reimbursed for it. So those kind of things, and then we're able to use it for flights when we travel yep. or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, we can use our way. points for flights, and we also also get one companion, um, um, one companion certificate every year for a free flight. Uh, so if we take a trip somewhere, then uh, I, I, can book, I can book two trips for the price of one, she can go for free. Yeah. All right, number 10, we always search for the lowest price uh, when we go to buy something. So we do our homework. Uh, we try to search for the best price on things, even in the supermarket when we're buying groceries, where if we're at Aldi, then we're searching the app on Walmart to see if we're finding the best price between the stores. That's right. Um, also on our computer, we use like the Honey app and stuff to make sure it will let us know if the price is better on a different website. Yep. But there's also a caveat to that. Uh, if we don't find, um, find a deal, we still buy it if we budget it for it. So if you budget it for something, then you can go ahead and buy it, uh, even if you don't find the best deal for it because you have the money for it already there. That's right. All right, so drop us a comment below and let us know how you're frugal. Uh, we'd love to hear those comments. Drop us those comments below and let us hear that. Also, be sure to stick around and subscribe because next week we're going to tell you how we are not frugal. All right. Okay. So don't forget to like. Subscribe and hit that notification bell for updates when we upload new videos. You never know, we're, we're throwing them at you all the time right now. So hit that, hit that notifications bell, hit all notifications to get a notification when there's a new video ready for you to view. Uh, but that said, that's going to do it today for the long run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.